Mike O, you're awesome. And uh, 2016, we'll see what happens. Nate, what's going on with your Giants? Well, that's not the game I anticipated. The day after the trade deadline where the Phillies sat silent and didn't do a damn thing, they come out, they play the Giants, who are among the best teams in the National League, who went out and made uh, several improvements, and they blast them 13-8. to I would not have anticipated that. That's just not the type of game that the Phillies play, and you know Madison Bumgarner is not the type of pitcher the Phillies hit. But uh, the Phillies came out, hit the ball hard, and... Uh, did some damage. Some of the damage they did was to Will Smith, one of the acquisitions for the Giants, so not a good debut for Will Smith. Guys, if you haven't done so yet, make sure you check out yesterday's video. I know it's a little lengthy, but it's a trade deadline special. I just basically go through most of the deals that took place um, over the last week or so in Major League Baseball, provide some thoughts, and also I included some thoughts from fellow YouTubers who were kind enough to send that stuff in. It's not typical of the Yankees franchise to be sellers, let alone the most aggressive sellers at the trade deadline, but that's what they were in 2016, and I want to take a minute to get some thoughts about it from Mike over at Eastern Connecticut Sports Cards. Yo, what's up guys? Uh, I'm here to make this video for Mike O. Uh, Mike wanted people to give their thoughts on the 2016 uh, Major League Baseball trade deadline. Thoughts on the 2016 trade deadline for the New York Yankees specifically, my, base my favorite baseball team. Um, basically, I think it were moves that needed to be made. Um, you know, I think that the Yankees at this point during the year, um, they just were kind of an, I mean, truthfully, if you want my opinion, I just thought they were a really unexciting team this year. Um, you know, they really just didn't click well. They had a really hard time scoring runs. Um, we couldn't really pitch that well. We just had really inconsistent, you know, stuff like that. The really good thing that we had this year was the bullpen and that's of course what the Yankees used to their advantage to land some top prospects because as you guys know pitching usually uh, wins championships and these clubs that are in it uh, are looking for you know bullpen help so with them dealing Andrew Miller to Cleveland um, I think the haul that they got back specifically highlighted by Clint Frazier was a big you know big help for the Yankees um, these guys should be around you know for the for the foreseeable future with them um, you know, with the Chapman trade, the kid Torres that they got back from uh, from Chicago should be, you know, should be really good. Um, and then, of course, one of my favorite players of all time, uh, truthfully, um, not just when he was with the Yankees, but, um, you know, for a long time, uh, Carlos Beltran. I was not surprised, but kind of like just kind of upset as a Yankee fan to see him go. But they did get back a nice, you know, little haul for him. Um, you know, the guys, he had a, a hell of a year this year, and it was just one of those, like, you know, he could have had a year like he had last year and they wouldn't have been able to get anything for him. So I think they took advantage of having his stock be so high that um, they were able to get a, a little bit of return on him. And he should help the Rangers. I mean, no doubt about it. He's a he's a great ball player and he's clutch in the postseason, as people know. Overall, I think the trade deadline was pretty exciting. You know, for the Yankees, I think it was, it was a decent, it was something that needed to be done. Thanks a lot. See ya. Thanks for the thoughts, Mike. I really appreciate you sending in the video. Guys, if you're not subbed to Mike at Eastern Connecticut Sports Cards, make sure you do so. I will post his link below. Uh, does box breaks and uh, mail days and all sorts of stuff with cards. I know a lot of you guys who check out the channel on a regular basis are probably already subbed to him because you guys are part of the card community here on YouTube. But if you're not, check him out. Definitely a great YouTuber. I am going to be busy as hell. I'm going to be all over the place. Uh, the National is in Atlantic City this week. I'll be attending Thursday and Sunday. I'll definitely have a lot of videos coming out of that. Uh, but also, Friday I have a wedding to attend, and then Saturday I have a bachelor party. It's kind of a all-day type of thing, family party in the evening uh, down in Cape May, New Jersey. So I'm going to be really busy, and then Monday through Thursday next week, I believe I will be out of town as well. As well, so I can't say I'll have consistent videos, but check check it all out. I will definitely try and get a few things up, and when I get back and when I have more time, I'll have plenty of videos. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Hit the like button, comment below, let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back talking to you next time. Have a great one. <laughs>